It was a rainy morning. We all went down into our sanctuary space. I turned around, and there was the man with the gun. Shot fired, shot fired. They have an active shooter in the building. We got a text that just said active shooter at Tree of Life Synagogue. Several persons barricaded inside. Jerry and I looked at each other. You know, Jerry's a doctor, I'm a nurse, and thought that somehow we could be helpful. So we moved in the direction of the gunfire. Suspects talking about all these Jews need to die. There's a great fear among people that the culture of white America has been diminished. These groups are emboldened, they're empowered, and they're vocal. The days when synagogues just leave their doors open, I think those days are gone. When you think about what can come of this sort of situation, you need to think about the values for which the victims stood. Rest your head. Whether Jew or Catholic or Muslim, everybody seemed touched because this could happen to them. The earth might shake, the winds may blow. Because of misconceptions about both of our communities, a lot of people were surprised to see the Muslim community step up and help the Jewish community. Our religions are very similar, our values are similar. So raise a candle in name. Parkland has been here. The church in Charleston, they were here. When there's a shooting, we text each other because you just know what each other is feeling. It's about how we can change other people's lives in a positive manner, because that is what the victims would have wanted. Their memories really are a blessing for all of us, and part of them continues to live on within us.